Hi, I'm Karen Mulvaney and this absolute beauty behind me is 32 Enifert Road in Rohini. So just to give you an idea where you are, because the location of this house is absolutely phenomenal. If you just go down the road this way, just a stone's throw from here, you've got the laneway that leads you into Harmonstown Dart Station. Further up on the other side of Enifert Road, it leads you into Kalena and just beyond Kalena is Rohini Village, which just gets better and better every year. There's just constant additions to the village, which just makes it an incredible place. It's an amazing community here. Literally behind you is the Hoth Road. So we're just a stone's throw again off the Hoth Road. And behind that is St. Anne's Park. Location wise, it doesn't get any better than this. We're on market for 550,000. This is not just a great house, but an enormous side to the house as well. So we have oodles of potential here. What we have is a three bed semi with all this side space just here, uh, which has been converted into a room, but uh, can be used for any number of uses. We also beyond that again have a side passage, which for me is just the best thing on the planet because if you convert a garage or any kind of space to the side of the house, you usually use your, you lose your side passage, but you still have a side passage here as well. Just goes to show the width of this property. So we have a nice little front garden here. We have a pond just in behind those flowers. We have three beds, two reception rooms, main bathroom, kitchen, outstanding garden. Can't wait to show you that. And uh, also an attic converted. So come on in and we take a look. Okay, so you're coming up two steps into the porch through the sliding door in the front door and into this exceptionally wide hallway. Look at the size of this hall. It's really, really wide. Beautiful uh, stained wooden floors, original floors. And then you've two reception rooms into your right hand side. So this is the front reception room with a really nice open fireplace, really big windows. So lots of light. This house is north facing at the back, so you get all your south facing light here at the front. So this is a really good sized room. This is a big L shaped couch. So it's a, you can get a kind of a sense of a really big spacious room with a lovely open fire. Okay, you could knock in to these uh, two rooms and put interconnecting doors, but they're currently separated. Again, into a back living room, another reception room with another open fire more original floorboards that have been stained and another really really big window as well overlooking the back garden i think we just ruined our surprise for the back garden didn't we um back out into the hall look at the light in this house it really is because you've so much glass at the front it's a really bright wide hall i love it um and then into the kitchen so this is very much original everything that's here as in the structure this is the original structure. There is so much space um, with potential to extend. So you have a little dining area here, a little nook, and your wall and floor units and your window overlooking the back garden. So this would have been originally, we think, a garage or a, a, a side room. You're down two steps here and current owner added a portion onto this onto this room used to use it as a playroom for kids there's a little window overlooking the front you've got a side door here going out to the side garden currently used as a utility area but you could definitely convert this we're coming back out the back garden into the most exciting thing ever which isn't the side passage but that is your side passage uh, we're oil fired central heating by the way and we're coming out into this absolutely gorgeous landscaped garden because of the width of the front of the house get a load of this and that's what I thought was my surprise but I think we ruined it in one of the shots earlier isn't that amazing an absolutely stunning log cabin in the back of the garden so as I said this is north facing okay but because the hedges are quite low your west facing sun comes in this direction so we have this gorgeous little patio area over here this is a non-working um, water feature. It uh, needs to be fixed up. But isn't this just so lovely? You get all your evening sun sitting here. All the evening sun because you have nothing blocking you from that side. Um, we also have two sheds in the garden. One there behind you. We're not going to open them because they've got loads of uh, storage or things stored in them. This is the same, so we have another one here. Um, what a 
beautiful garden. It's not exactly high maintenance, but it's exceptionally well cared for. Um, and this I just absolutely love. Ta-da! If the current buyer, or if the new buyer, doesn't want this, FYI, I do. If you could manage to have it taken from here and lifted into my back garden, that would be fantastic. This is a little hallway. We've got really solid, this is Scandinavian wood, really solid doors, really solid windows. We have two pieces of furniture here that are going to be gone. We have, it's insulated, it's got electric heating, it's got a TV point, it's got electricity. It's absolutely brilliant. So we have three windows and two doors. And how perfect is this for somebody who's working from home? Not that you need it, and you'll see why when we go upstairs. This could be used for anything. You could use it for a gym, you can use it for a home office, you can use it for an older child to make it their own, although you would need plumbing. Um, I just love it. Even the smell of the wood off it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and back out into this super, super garden. So we've had two reception rooms, kitchen, utility, stroke, playroom, stroke, storage room, two storage sheds, log cabin, and now we're gonna go upstairs. So you're coming up a nice, bright, wide carpeted stairs. The only other carpet downstairs, by the way, is actually in the front room. Um, this is your side window. So if you have a north facing garden, being on this side of the semi is actually fantastic because it means you get all your west facing sun in the evening into the upstairs and onto your landing. So onto this nice, bright landing, great space. Now check this out. Where's the access to the attic? I'll show you later. Uh, into the front room. And again, being an older house, you've got a really good sized single bedroom. So we had fitted wardrobes. Now, do you remember we were saying earlier that you don't need necessarily to have a home office when you've got this house here that we would show you upstairs? So there's your desk here. You've got your fitted wardrobes, single bedroom, loads and loads of south facing light coming in that lovely big window. And then into this room again, at the front, again, it's the first time I've been here, loads and loads of fitted wardrobe space, a little bit dated, nice double bedroom, but again, a really, really bright and big window with lots and lots of light. Again, carpeted flooring. And then we could go back out into bedroom number two. So it's our second double. Now this is quite clever. So this would have also been a very big double. Again, we've got this great light coming in. We have another desk space here. So that's three bedrooms with three desks in the room. But we have this, which gave us a clue as to how to get into the attic. Uh, just in beside you there, you're into the main family bathroom, the only bathroom in the house, okay? So you've got WC, wash hand basin, and a bath. Back out into the landing. Hot press? No, not hot press. Ta-da! This is our entrance into our attic room. We love this. So they literally took a bit of space off the second bedroom at the back of the house, so the second double at the back, and developed this room here, which is just absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's so cool. I reckon, like it's not huge. Uh, you've got a Velux window at the back, so lots of light. We've got a single bedroom here. We have huge eave storage on either side. Another desk, so that's our, this is really technically speaking, I suppose our fourth bedroom with a desk space as well. So this house is perfectly adapted to anybody working from home or anything else, but um, this little uh, secret room concludes our accommodation for upstairs. So just to conclude, this is 32 Enifert Road in Rohini, an absolutely fantastic three bed semi-D. Not only semi-D, but you've also got, got space to the side to uh, potentially extend, convert, or redevelop what's there. Side passage beyond that again. So three beds, two reception rooms, main bathroom, kitchen, utility, attic room, fabulous garden, absolutely beautifully landscaped garden. 
and log cabin at the back as well. So be your and uh, size to follow, details to follow, and you'll get more information on kmproperty.ie.